Wow. Yeah, put it in there. Good job. Dirt. Dirt. Good job. Hello friends, welcome back to that 1870s homestead. My name's Rachel and we have seed starting time. Really excited about it. I am a few days, probably one week later than I anticipated. And that's because we had our, we hosted an exchange daughter um, four years ago now from Vietnam. And she was back this last week visiting with us. And so, uh, rather than get started on other projects, we just spent our time visiting and sharing new memories with her while she was here. But we're very early in the season. I am in Michigan. I am Southeast Michigan. And I think with this new zone mapping, it's somewhere between zone 6A, 6B. Um, but more importantly, my last frost date I think is around May 10th and one of the very first seeds to get started for me other than like my sweet potato slips but first planting is my celery and then we'll move into our brassicas here in the like next 10 days or so but I have my Utah celery and this um, seed company is So Right Seeds they um, gave us, were kind enough to send us some seeds last year, and I didn't use any of this packet um, in the past. I've always grown in my gardener seeds, but Utah celery is always the variety. So what did I do to get prepped for today? Let me tell you. So first off, got the watering tray, which is just a flat bottom vessel at the bottom. And then we have our trays that are little three cell, like three inch or four inch, I don't know what these are considered, seed trays go in and gave those all a good wash. They have a lot of spider webs and things from being stored. So rather than um, a chance any spider mites or um, you know mold or anything like that from being in storage to pass on to this new pot potting soil, I just give things a good wash and then <clears throat> I am using Jiffy seed starting mix, which is basically like a coconut core and perlite, things like that in there. Um, it's a really cheap variety. Um, and I would probably do this even if I bought in something high quality is to just sanitize your soil. And that process is simply pouring hot boiling water over the soil to kill anything that might, um, again, breed fungus gnats or spider mites, things like that, that could harm a little young seedling. Not everybody does it, but hey, I um, am a small operation and every little seed that I start uh, is important to me that I give it the best chance at life. And have you ever seen celery seed? Look how tiny those are. <laughs> They're like, I don't know, probably as small as a grain of sand. And I struggled planting celery when I first started. Um, two things I did wrong in the past that I'll share with you guys. Uh, one was I started them in my enclosed greenhouse, which is quite warm. Um, it gets up to 80 degrees or more in there and wrong. And then also, um, I actually planted the celery seed like underneath soil, but celery seed is so tiny and it is actually quite dependent on light for germination. So we're just sprinkling seeds on the top of this soil. And I'm only going to do one, one tray for now because I, in my garden plan, I only want six celery plants. So I'm hoping that I can get about two per little cell. And then when it comes time to, um, 
them to get larger, I'll pot them up. And then we'll transplant these out. And then you kind of just give them a little tap. I'm not covering them. Just giving them a little tap so that they have good soil contact. And that's it. And then back here, can you guys see? Yeah, the tower. Not, no heat whatsoever. These are just going to go on that tower and underneath the direct light. So I'll lower the lights where they're just about two inches above the soil. Um, and I will show you guys as soon as they sprout um, how many days it takes. What does the package say? The package says days to germination, 14 to 21 days. We'll see. Um, I always take seed packet information as a grain of salt or with a grain of salt um, because honestly every single growing condition is slightly different and those are all just considered averages. Um, but I thought I would bring you guys with me when we start our first seeds here in the house and uh, not sure exactly where this video is going to finish uh, up but that's the very first seeds going into soil for garden uh, 2024. So come over here with me and we'll get these set up, get our lights lowered and get going. You know, while I'm here too, I should, Todd bought me some, let me show you guys the light set up down here. So can I get you guys in there? Yeah. Hey, don't fall. Okay. So, not too terribly high, but I think I could lower it one more rung. There we go. And Todd, uh, what I started to say was Todd got me some plant labels. And while we're here, I should grab one out and get it labeled. These little, whoops, stop. These little thingies. Let's go on out and label it for our celery so I don't forget which cell I planted. Okay, and I put the date on it. So celery, February 17th. We'll stick that in there and turn these lights on. There we go. I just realized as I was walking away, one thing, let me get up here, <laughs> get down here. One thing I forgot to mention is this soil has been watered. So uh, when I mixed it with that hot boiling water, right, all I did was let it cool. It's quite wet, so I don't need to water in the seeds at all. Um, if, in case your soil is not as moist as mine, you would likely want to spread um, or spray the top of your soil with just some water just to water in those seeds. I don't need to do that. At this point in time, all I'm going to do is as this um, soil starts to just look like it's drying out, I'll give it a mist on the top till I see those seeds germinate. Once they start germinating, I'll start watering from the bottom. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Our celeries, we had quite the germination. So I got my little helper today and he's going to help me fill the pots and we're going to pot them up. So. We need to, I'm just using, I don't know what these are, like four inch, four and a half inch deep cell trays. Can you put some dirt in it for Granny? Yeah, you wanna use a spoon? And put some dirt in. And um, I think I said in my garden plan I wanted six, and I probably have no less than 20. So we'll probably plant them all up and see if we don't have some to give away. And these I'll treat kind of like, oh, what's the right term for that? Um, kind of like little plant slips. So I'll bring you guys down here and show you guys how I'm separating these and getting these in. I'm gonna give this soil, this is just seed starting mix again. <clears throat> I'm gonna give this soil a quick water then sprinkle on some fertilizer. So give me one second. Good yeah. job. Yeah, I put water in mine. See, mine has water in it. You gotta put dirt in all of them. Can you put dirt in these? Here, put some more dirt in that one. Okay. 
Okay. So I just have my all-purpose fertilizer. Just going to sprinkle a little bit of this on the tops and it'll get worked in as we plant this, these little seedlings in here. And this is just down to earth's um, all purpose fertilizer. It's my favorite one. It's a slow releasing fertilizer and um, I'll give them this feeding first and that'll just uh, add some nutrients to the soil. And then about every 10 days, I will give them a diluted uh, watering with fish um, emulsion in it. So here you can see we have lots and lots of celery starts coming up. They're way too thick together. So we're just gonna dump them out and tease them apart and then plant them up. Hi, you're gonna film? Are you helping Granny? Oops. So here we have one. Oops, let me get them out. See them? In the, oops. Come on, focus. There we go. Little one with his little roots. I'm just gonna plug in a hole and plop them down in there. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Can you put some in these two? There you go. And do you see Granny's? You want to put plant one of those? Granny's got lots. You can put it in the dirt and plant it in the garden. There you go. Good job. Did you make a celery? Yay! You did that. And then now when we put it in the garden, we can watch it grow really, really big, and then maybe we can eat it. That'll be fun. Yeah? Yeah, eat yum, yum, yum. All right, here we have another, come on, another cute little celery, little plug. I guess that's the right word that I was looking for, a little plug. I'll plug them in the hole. Let them go good, good, good and strong. So I'm trying to pick the very best ones that I want. And if I need a little bit of extra dirt to top it off, I will just top it off with some little extra. Are they barking? What are they doing? All right, it's as simple as that, guys. Just grow yourselves even at like the so why this came up like this, remember those seeds were so, so tiny. I didn't take time to um, thin them or you know, be very careful about my spacing of my seeds. Um, they're very, very tricky plant to start, so it's better to just go ahead and um, sow a little heavier. And they did really, really well. And now we have lots. What are you saying? Are you telling the dogs to quit barking? Say, stop barking, donkeys. Okay, guys, well, thanks for coming with me to planting up our celery, starting it from seed together all the way through to potting up for the first time. So I'm gonna keep going with mine, get as many as I want transplanted. I'll probably do, these are eight cell uh, little trays. I will probably do two of these just make sure I get six to go all the way out to the garden. And um, hopefully you learned something on starting celery. If you're um, in <coughs> growing conditions like mine, just remember some of those tips. They like light. You don't need to cover them with the seeds with soil. You don't need heat mats. Just let them do their thing and you'll see the reward. Thanks guys, and if you fail like me many, many times over and over again, just keep trying, you'll learn each time. I'll see you guys out in the garden soon. Bye guys.